the everyday life over here, we never knew. Until I read that paper that he wrote for college about the morning of a mission. If he was going, if he wasn't going. Hearing the plane start in the background. It was very moving. The question was, what did they feel? Why they were here? Were they scared? Were they afraid? And the answer is yes, they were. So he had turned 18 in March and his first active duty day was September of 43, so he was 18. He completed all his missions five days before his 20th birthday. This is your father's photograph. Obviously there he is on the, on the back row, full turret gunner, mm -hmm. one of the tallest in the crew, which is quite, um, quite ironic being as a bull turret gunner. Mm -hmm. We have visitors turn up from the United States where they've lost their, their father or their grandfather who, who very, very seldom spoke about it. We're finding about their experiences here. It was a horrific experience for them as young men. We tell them more about what their father or grandfather did here during the war than probably they've, they've ever heard or seen um, from what he said or, or the effects. We do it because this is not just their history and national history, this is our local history. This all happened where we live. He was a ball turret gunner. By the time they got over the English Channel, they had to be in it because otherwise the guns would be hanging down and they would know no one was in there. It took them at least two hours before they were in formation to go over the channel. So they could have been in there 8, 10, 12 hours. How they did it, I don't know. I feel close to him. You know, is he telling me a private story, you know? Maybe he would tell of a, what it felt like. I'm one of them. Now he has told one when they, um, landed on, crash landed on the continent, you know, how he, they were throwing stuff out to lighten the plane so they could um, get into Belgium. And they managed two miles. But once they crash landed, when they opened the door, they didn't know who was going to be out there. And lucky for them, it was Americans and the building in the airfield just put Horham on the map um, and any book on the 8th Air Force it features um, as, as, as having a base here and friendships were made all those years ago. It is, for a personal point of view, it's, it's very rewarding and it's very rewarding not just for me but the team of volunteers we have here. Everything we do is, is, is to honour these men who came over here from the United States so far away. Um, they fought, they died, and they went home, but they'll never be forgotten. It is one of the best feelings, I think, um, y you can have to, to complete the picture for these people, to complete the, the missing gap in their, in their fathers or their grandfathers or even great-grandfathers' lives. I would love for, you know, my family personally, every one of us to come as a group to feel the emotion, because it is emotional. You know, you, you walk up the drive or drive up the drive and it's like, my dad was here. 70 some years 